Is your armor even worth crafting? And how much does it impact incoming damage? When crafting armor, we are all faced with the decision to build the weaker but cheap armor or the expensive and stronger one. But does it even matter which armor you're using? For demonstration, I created a setup with different tiers of flak armor, weapons and turrets to find out how armor works. Starting with no armor and ending with ascended armor with a stat of 700. I hit different grades of armor with the same weapons to see how much damage I deal per hit and how it affects the durability of the armor. And for everyone who stays until the end of the video, I've got something very useful that you can use in your next PvP wipe. First, we have to talk about damage. The results of the damage calculation are actually not that surprising. You can break it down to more armor means less damage taken. Looking at the taken samples, you can assume that some kind of logarithmic function is behind the damage calculation. Which is not very surprising, because it is calculated like this in many other games. This means that the max armor can lower the damage you get per hit significantly. But it also means that you don't need max armor to be great at PvP. As you can see in this chart, armor above a defense level of about 215 already greatly reduces the incoming damage. Even primitive armor works great against primitive weapons. The higher the damage of the weapon used, the more important higher level armor becomes. But even a 200% sniper rifle would only deal about 13 damage on a body shot and 43 on a headshot when you're using primitive armor. But the armor would break much faster compared to the damage dealt by a primitive sniper. Also, ASA introduced crits. I have to confirm that some hits do crit on dinos, but I do not know if crits work on players too, except for headshots. If someone knows more about that, leave me a comment and I will pin that for other players to understand the new crit mechanic. Durability basically describes the amount of hits your armor can take before it breaks and gets unequipped. This means it is basically the health of the armor. I recently noticed that in nearly all situations where I die, it is not due to the fact that I take too much damage while wearing armor, it is due to the fact that at some point my armor breaks and I start receiving unreduced damage. I think it is the same for you. You can try this yourself. When you die, is your armor still intact? Or are there any parts broken? If I had to guess, in nearly all situations, at least one part of your armor is broken and you received full damage to that body part, which was the reason you died. This means durability is more important than you think, because if your armor does not break, you never receive full damage. During our last PvP wipe, we already noticed that the loss of durability acted kind of odd. In ASE, durability was calculated based on the mitigated damage against most damage types for every about 16 damage mitigated by your armor. Your armor loses a point of durability. It looks like this has somehow been changed in ASA. When hit with a primitive sniper rifle, all armor lost exactly 50 durability per hit independent of the mitigated damage. This indicates that the durability reduction is no longer calculated based on the mitigated damage but simply applied flat based on the damage of the weapon. With a 50 base loss for the sniper rifle, then increasing based on the damage. If we compare this to a SE version of durability, this means to lose 50 durability it will calculate to 16 times 50 resulting in 800 damage that would need to be mitigated. This means that in a SE, Armor lasts longer than in ASA. When using a 200% sniper rifle, player damage and armor durability loss both doubles. Thus, a 200% sniper rifle inflicts around 100 durability damage, while a 300% sniper rifle deals about 150 damage to the armor. The hit that destroys the armor is only partly reduced. The part of the damage that is still covered by the durability is reduced and the excess part is inflicted directly without additional reduction. This means when you have 25 durability left and the primitive sniper deals 82 damage on a body shot and reduces the durability by 50, the first 42 damage is reduced to about 4 damage. And the remaining 42 damage is dealt to you without reduction, meaning you get a total of 46 damage for that hit. This means that the actual armor value only affects the incoming damage and has no influence on the durability of the armor. The tests with sniper rifles with higher damage show that the loss of durability increases in line with the incoming damage. So a sniper with 200% does exactly 100 and a sniper with 300% does exactly 150 damage to the durability. For primitive flak, this means that if it is hit by a primitive sniper, it will take two hits and break on the third one. 
with a 200% sniper, the flag would break on the second hit and let the excess damage pass through without reduction. For a 300% sniper, this would be even more significant because it would break primitive flag on the first hit, dealing a huge amount of damage from the start on, which means that it would not make a huge difference if you didn't wear armor at all. The most important part for us as PvP players is probably how armor works against turrets. The damage and durability work similarly to all other weapons. The damage chart for turrets looks like this. The only turret that acts differently than the others is the tag turret, because it either hits one part of your armor, dealing 47 damage to this piece or hitting multiple parts of armor dealing 70 damage per part, up to a total of 350 damage if it hits all parts at once. Beer can be crafted using a beer barrel. You will become intoxicated for 2 minutes, shown by a beer charge symbol and a countdown, giving you increased insulation, damage resistance and melee damage. But it will rapidly deplete your stamina. Because your damage resistance increases by 40%, your armor loses less durability per hit, which increases your durability even more. This means if you're wearing flak armor instead of 24 for a normal and 107 for a heavy turret, your armor gets 14 and 64 damage per hit. When talking about armor, we should also at least go through the basics of shields. The overall mechanics of shields did not change in ASA. Shields do not give any additional armor, but when held, they fully block attacks. This means that you can completely block hits by dinos, weapons or turrets and get zero damage as long as your shield does not break. For every hit that's taken by the shield, it loses durability based on the taken damage. For a normal turret, this would be 77. And for a heavy turret, it would be 345 damage per hit. Primitive metal shields have a durability of 1250 and can take 16 normal hits and 4 heavy hits before breaking. Riot shields have a durability of 2300 and can take 13 normal hits and 7 heavy hits. It is totally worth getting good shields because they can get up to a durability of about 20,000 which means you can tank over 250 normal hits and over 50 heavy hits which makes it possible to run single turrets by foot, especially if you have beer battle tart and focal chili. Which on the one hand increases your movement speed and decreases the damage you take after your shield broke. But does it even matter which armor you're using? The short answer is, it depends, but in general you can say the higher the armor, the better the armor. Not only does the armor value matter, but also the durability of the armor. The worst thing that can happen to you during a fight is your armor breaking down. Due to the fact that weapons deal flat damage to the durability instead of damage based on the mitigated damage, durability is even more important than before. Usually you have medbrews with you, which means that if you get a few hits, you can easily heal them as long as your armor stays intact. As soon as your armor breaks down, instead of hits between 20 and 70 damage, you get hits from 200 up to 700 damage, and healing that is nearly impossible. In general, you would go for the higher armor value, but if you have to decide between armor A with 250 armor and 400 durability versus armor B with 350 armor and 250 durability, you should go for armor A because of the overall higher durability and most likely lower costs, even if you take slightly more damage.